Perception is reality. Grab. See how big it got? How about now? <laughs> See, that's so cool. What is up, everybody? Dubin's here with Super Liminal. Now, this game I was told to play. I checked out a little bit of it, and it looks just super cool. It's not like a shoot 'em up game. Um, I think it's just more puzzle solving, but in such a cool way from the looks of it that I had to try it. So let's get into it. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Not really. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Not really. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Definitely not. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe Somnusculpt? and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Right. Sculpt. We'll make your dreams come true. Is that where I'm at right now? Alright. So oh. Oh, I was staring at a wall. Ooh, paper. I don't even get to read it? See, that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Everything's done in a cool way. Can I sprint? No. Can I crouch? No. Perception is reality. Grab. See how big it got? How about now? <laughs> that's so cool! And I believe I can make it small again. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's so cool. How do you code that? Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Oh, thank Welcome you. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified Ooh. specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Oh no. I can climb on top. Oh. I was just grabbing shit. This is such a cool concept. Make my little stairs. What's that? Another block? No objects. Oh. Alright. This is cool. It's kind of like Portal without the portals. Like puzzle solving, I should say. I guess it's really not like Portal at all, huh? How do I make it bigger? That's pretty big. Can I jump up on that? I can. Whoa. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding <laughs> objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your pay team. I do not care. Why don't you care? What's... what's happening? I'm assuming I have to do something like this. Nope. It's gonna get. It's gonna take a bit to get used to. The depth of field perception type stuff. Hold right click to rotate. Oh, once you're grabbing it. Oh. That's a lot of cheese. Oh. That music was pleasant at first, but now it's kind of driving me absolutely insane. Oh, that's so cool. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due what? to realizing that this is a dream. 
Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining really orientation small? activities. Ha! <laughs> What's in here? Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient oh, safety is stuff. a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. Please. A variable tetrahedron? degree of force cannon will be authorized Whoa, to ensure patient that? safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Really small soda. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Okay, I gotta turn that music down. I'm sorry, but it's driving me absolutely insane. Whoa, can I jump through this? Yard! Oh no, but I'm supposed to do this and go like this, I think. Wait, what? How does one get it in there? Come on, come on. There we go, I think I got it now. What else is down here? Absolutely nothing. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Can Completed surveys windows? may be eligible for a gift card. Why is she yelling at me? I can't get through this. <coughs> oh. What if I did this? No. What if I did that? Ooh. This game is cool. For some reason that unsettles me. Makes me unsettled. I don't like it. What's in here? What's over here? Wait a minute. Oh, it's an infinite hallway? Is it truly an infinite hallway? Sure looking like it. All right, well, that was fun. Jump. I'm sorry. I hear the ding. Oh. I'm not quite sure what to do again. Ah. So I gotta make this super big, I'm assuming? That was not as big as I thought. Just so I could do both of them? Cool. <laughs> I'm a genius. Ooh, long hallway. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Polite recognition? It. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway what? as indicated. Yard. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> you can't throw stuff. If you could throw stuff, this would be great. Aha! I broke the wall. Ooh, the music. The tone just got really dark. What's in here? Oh, it's the same place. Okay. I can't grab any of this stuff, which sucks. Exit! Oh. Oh, that's a big phone. Oh! Oh, God. Did I lose? 
I don't like that. Stop that. Please stop that. I like a loading bar to tell me when it's actually done. No, I want to make it big. Damn it. My mouse keeps getting caught. I gotta figure out a way to stop that. All right. Um, this is kind of creepy. I don't think it's supposed to be creepy, though, is it? Oh, that's my mouse. Can I get a red soda? That's a big red soda. I saw that in another video. That's like, I've seen a little bit of this game, very little. Just enough to know the mechanics to see if it was interesting enough to play. And it is. Why is this? This creeps me out. It's like the shining. Oh. Cool. Oh, exit temporarily moved. I guess if you're in a dream state, anything can happen, right? Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so deceptive. I guess that should give it away, but it doesn't. Something screwy with this one, too. Hit me in the face. No, it's the opposite. That is so cool. Is this one screwy, too? Or is this just one of those things where you can't get stuff through it? Can't get stuff through it. Oh, it's just a big square. Oh, but it looks like you can get up there. Or maybe even... Yeah, you can get out. What's up there? Well, I have to try to get up there, don't I? Oh, I can rotate. I completely forgot about that. That's not what I wanted to do. <coughs> yes, can I climb up that? Or is it too steep? I can do it. But now I want to get up there. Oh. Yes. No. No. Well, come on. Work with me here. Now. Yes. Can I climb up that or is it too steep? Too steep. I was close with that one, though. Oh, no. Well, what happens then? Can I screw myself? There is a restart checkpoint, so that's cool. That looks perfect. Do ba doo ba doo. Alright, so can I do this? Way too big. Ah, oh, I keep falling. Like an idiot. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna get this. Eventually. One day. No. Oh God. All right. So if I went like this, don't crush me. No, fall. <laughs> Work with me here. Is that too steep? No. Did I say NASA? No, NSA. NSA? Good. Oh, that was close, though.
I'm gonna get this. I want to get up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I'm so close. Get me on these crates. Are you kidding me? Ooh, maybe that. It's all about perspective. This is where it's going to get hard. Ooh. Don't stop that. Oh. All right, it's not worth trying. Boombox? Hello, Ooh. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So I'm special, special, in fact, that we have Cubes no high. idea where you are. Argum a pirate. But not to worry, we're working on it. Wait, they have no idea where I am? Are they supposed to know where I am? I mean, there's a doctor, right? Oh, I can draw. I don't like the darkness. The darkness is not my friend here. I don't like this. Get away. All right, all right, all right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go in here. I got an achievement for that, so that's cool. Can I draw on this? What the hell is that? Whoa! Whoa! How'd you do that? Now, how does that help me? Do I have to get up? Ah, I see, I see, said the blind man. Perfect. Mm, very nice. Taking this with me. Oh, another one. Oh no, what? Wait, what? That's so cool. I absolutely love this. Although, I would love to see the coding behind it. Ooh, it's just like only a half block. Oh, so I, I can use it like stairs. Bada boom. Bada boom. I need to back it up. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, goodbye. I got it. I gotta make the exit door. That's not all the door. Wait a minute. Is it behind this pole? No. Behind this pole? No. Do I have to grab that block? Probably. I'm assuming it's this way, judging by... Yeah, the angle. The duct tape on? <laughs> That's so cool! Oh! Alright, alright. Can I press this button? Now. Another boom box. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Is that a different doctor? I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. I'm we here. still don't know. Oh, good. But Please keep moving forward, and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> I guess that's funny. Well, we have multiple stuff here. That is so cool. This whole game is just cool. I'm gonna keep saying it. E. E.
Why do I need this? Oh! Oh, we're outside. Come with me, trusty block. I may be able to use you to get to high spaces. Oh, maybe not. I thought you'd be bigger. Is this making it bigger, or am I crazy? This should. I'm still not figuring it out. All right. Oh, I'm up here now. <sighs> Hello, my name is That's Dr. Doctor Pierce, and we still can't find you. Good. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Oh. Absolutely. What am I to do? Oh, I have to steal the moon. What was that movie? The cartoon where the guy steals the moon? Hello. My name is Dr. Oh. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact oh, with anything that door. strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can not and that. immediately run away. You're welcome to try, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna pull every fire alarm I see. Apparently there's gonna be a fire in an elevator. Do I have to press a button? Elevator! Oh. Oh, stop that. Again? All right. We're going to end this one here, but that is our first video on Superliminal. This game is so cool. The idea of it, the mechanics of it, it's kind of creepy. Don't really like that doctor's voice, and I don't like how he introduces himself every time, but what are you going to do? Definitely going to play this one all the way through, so stay tuned. Later.